Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos back again, this time with another review. As always, when a manufacturer or a retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you guys know, this is a sponsored review. So continuing on with Cyber Monday sales, things that you might wanna get that you're not sure if you wanna get it because you don't know what it looks like or, or if it's worth, you know, the, whatever the price is. Um, so I think I got a good, pretty good deal right here. So this is a, um, one of these new projectors, one of these little mini projectors as they call them now, and it's from a company called, I want to say it's, it's Sayoya or Sanya, um, and it's basically a 10, uh, excuse me, a 720p projector, and it's got a, a LED light, a, a, or a LED light as people call it, um, it says a home theater system, entertainment system, there's not much on the box, it's just a plain um, box here, I don't know if I got a version that is not, um, that's the actual sale version. Uh, you know, sometimes they send um, for promotional purposes. They just send a regular box, you know, so you could just preview and, and you know, do the review. But what we're going to do is now we're going to go right. Let's just jump into the review, you know, because I just want to open this little bad boy up. Now, as you've seen in the last couple of weeks, I have done a lot of reviews on projectors. So um, when I start doing a lot of reviews like that, then they start sending me more projectors for me to review. And hey, I'll take all the projectors I could get because then I give them away. I give them away to you guys, you know. Um, so here it is. And what I really like about any projector that any of these companies ship, they're always well protected. They got foam on all four sizes, or I want to say in all eight sizes, uh, what is it, two, uh, four, six sizes. Um, it, they do come with instructions, so um, it's very simple. This is called the um, Model W5. Um, again, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Now, what I really like about this projector is it's under $100. So if you're looking for a projector to give to your son daughter who's going to, you know back to college in in january or whenever it is that they go back to college or you want to get a projector for your um, man cave you know you want to have one on, on a wall projecting a game on the wall while the tv is projecting something else this is perfect for that um so let's just check it out let's continue here so um we got a couple little things here uh, happy unhappy okay so here it is and again Everything you need is in the box. You got a HDMI cable. You have a remote control, uh, which is actually really nice. I mean, I see remotes, but this is actually pretty nice looking. You got all the cables you need. You got your, your breakout cable for your mini um, jack. And you got your RCA cable. And like I said, you have your HDMI cable. Of course, the power cable. So what I want to do is I'm going to... Let's just take this guy out. And it's super compact. Now, what I could tell you right now from what I see is it's like brown or something, which is a different kind of color than I usually see these things come. Oh, it's actually gold. Very cool. Very cool. Wow. Check that out. Beautiful. Beautiful design. I really love the design. I love how, how they took their time to put this like, um, you know, design on the, on the actual cover. It does tell you, that, like every other projector, do not look into the light because you go blind. You do have your keystone right here. and You have your focus button here. You have your um, controls right here. Um, let me switch to the camera here. So in the back, you have your infrared. So you have an infrared in the back and in the front somewhere around here. There's probably another infrared um, little piece where you could point your remote so you could control this. Um, you have your HDMI 2. What? So this guy has two HDMIs. Now, I just reviewed another um, a version, of, not a version of this, but another um, projector who did have two HDMI, which was the first one I seen. Um, but that one was a 1080p um, um, uh, projector this is actually at 720p um but that's only the second time i've seen this with two hdmi which is great because if you have two inputs you don't have to um you know unplug and plug cables into this very cool so again you have your your infrared hdmi 2 your um usb port so if you want to plug any usb um, card into this over here you got your pc rgb plug Again, your HDMI one plug, you got your headphone plug, and you got your AV plug, and you also could plug in a card on here. So I, what I'm going to do is, um, or your, of course on the bottom here, you do have your little um, slider so you can make this higher or lower, you know, so when you project it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this guy in. I'm going to be using my um, iPhone little... Um, breakout cable for my uh, lightning port um, to project it on the wall and my test is this if you guys could see it on a blue wall 
that means that you're going to see it even better on a white wall. I mean, I do have a sheet that I could put up, but I don't want to put that sheet up because I feel like every other project that I've done, every time they project on that wall, you guys can see it perfectly or, you know, semi-perfectly. So we're going to be trying this out and I'm just going to set this up really quick and then I'm going to just, you know, project some stuff on the wall. Okay, so I sort of set a little, the, the, you know, everything up a little bit. Um, I have my, my cable plugged in to the to the to the actual unit here I have my cable plugged in I haven't plugged in the power cable because I want to see how long it takes to actually power up um, you know in real time so I'm gonna flip the camera plug this cable in press the, the you know the power on button and see how long it takes to power up so why don't we go ahead and do that let me just flip the camera here and um, let me okay let me just plug it in first Sometimes these things start up as soon as you plug them in. Um, so I see the light did turn on. So it didn't turn on. That's great. So I could do an actual um, experiment here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my light. I did get a, it does come with a remote, like I said, and I put some batteries in it. The batteries is not included in the box, so you have to get your own batteries. So let's go ahead and hit the power button. And there it is. And I could hear a little, oh, oh wow. Okay. So, first thing, of course, if you guys don't know, on the top here, on the top of the of the um, projector, there is a focus button. And I, as you can see, I'm getting it in focus. Hopefully, here we go. So that's pretty focused. And that's the focus button. And I know a lot of people get confused because it feels really hard and it feels like it shouldn't be able to move, but it does. It's supposed to move, and it's supposed to be hard because otherwise, you know, you know, once you get in focus, if the projector moves, you don't want to, you know, to get off, you know, off focus. And then you have your keystone, of course. And the keystone is when you have, when you're projecting from the bottom up, um, then you could fix it to so you could um, basically fix the, the image, make it square, so you could look right. So here it is. Um, so you got a couple of menus here. So let's see if we go into some of these menus. Um, you got your settings, okay, let me pull this over to the side so you guys can see better. So you got your standard settings, you got your picture mode, standard mode, you got your color temperature, oops, it turns off right away, okay. Um, you got your aspect ratio, which is, you know, obviously a 9 by, not a 16 by 9. So we go back, let's see what else we have in this menu. Uh, noise reduction, uh, you can flip it. So there, there's a couple of ways you could install this. You could install this on a ceiling upside down and you could flip the image to compensate for that. Obviously, you could project from the back, so you could project this on the back of a of a screen, you know, so to project from behind. Now from what I from what I saw, uh, you could actually project this up to 120 inches. So um, excuse me, inches or feet. I think it's feet, 120 feet. So you know this could be projected on a large wall. We're gonna, you know, I don't know. This is as big as it's gonna be right now. It's about five feet wide on my screen over here on my wall, so that's not too bad. And of course, like I said, you could play movies right off the USB if you go into the movies, music as well, photos and text. I guess if you are doing a presentation of some sort, that's what you would do. But you know what? Let's plug in my iPhone that I have here ready, and today we are using. A little game I wanted to see how the game looks on the screen and we're gonna go to HDMI 1 and there it is so I don't know if you guys know this game this is a very cool game if you have never played it it's called um, real racing okay so I'm gonna try to play a game here see how it comes out on the screen um, I actually because the way this game is set up I actually, my, my phone, my phone doesn't show what you see. What you see is what the track looks like. On my phone, I just say information of the track. So when I turn and turn left and right, um, you guys are going to see it. Let's see if I could do this. And, and there it is. Check that out. So I'm actually racing against someone like a real person on here. And I'm already making a huge mistake. I give them a break. So this is very cool. I love this. Wow. Um, now, the one thing that I did notice is I can't hear any sound. Um, I'm wondering if there's a 
volume button on here that I'm, I must have missed um, or if this unit does not have any speakers because you in the past the projectors never came with speakers that, that's a new thing that they've been adding on to the new projectors and from what I'm noticing here is I don't think this actual unit has a speaker um, I don't see anything on here on the actual remote telling me otherwise let's just go into a different um, and let me just go into YouTube and see just to confirm um, if there is a speaker or not so we are connected we're playing no so it does have a speaker correction it does have a speaker it's just that the game that, hey what's up Gravis and Granets Juan Gravis there it is. back again this time with another review so today's actually Black Friday and I've been trying to get all these videos so out that was in Black time Friday. and I kind of missed it so it is what it is now what I want to talk about today is um, so oh, first it was so probably so obviously the game that I was playing the sound wasn't working that's like I wanted to make sure I want to put a video to show you guys again I want to stress this uh, I want to say this and one more time the image your guys are watching of my oh my internet connection is horrible um, the image that you guys are watching off my camera does not do justice for the projector because this is degraded oh whoa, whoa, hold on a second oh, 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 it, 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 change that um, it's degraded it's already one generation degraded by recording it off the screen from my camera so um, I can assure you the, the projection looks really nice um, you can't really tell the difference between 1080p and 720p you know you will have to really get close to something to tell the difference between the two so guys listen I am very impressed with the projector for a hundred dollar projector I think you can even get this cheaper than a hundred dollars today I think if you go on Amazon now you could get twenty dollars off off a hundred as I'm looking at the screen right now as of right now so it's a hundred bucks now minus twenty dollars the link is in the description guys if you're looking for a gift you don't know what to give them um, you're looking to for a projector or you're looking for just a you don't know what to give the person but you, you know they would love a projector get them a projector that's cheap enough now it's like you know um, flat screen TVs they're cheap enough now that anybody could afford a, a flat screen but anyways just go get it. I'm going to leave the link in the description, guys. I hope you enjoyed this very small, quick review of um, the uh, Sioya, um W5 projector. Um, available now on Amazon, guys. Um, that's the review. Guys, thanks for watching. You've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. You can find me on Instagram, Los Granos. You can find me on Facebook, Los Granos. You can find me on Twitter, Los Granos. You can find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.